an 18-lead ECG may be required following the completion of a 12-lead ECG. These are the changes. V1 becomes V4R, located on the right side, 5th intercostal space, mid-clavicular line. V3 becomes V6R, on the right side, at the 5th intercostal space, mid-auxiliary line. V2 becomes V5R, on the right side, 5th intercostal space, anterior auxiliary line. V4 becomes V7, move the electrode to the left posterior auxiliary line, at the 5th intercostal space. V5 becomes V8, place the electrode on the left posterior side, at the 5th intercostal mid-scapular line. V6 becomes V9, Move the electrode to the left posterior side at the 5th intercostal space paraspinal line. Next, place the leads. Limb leads remain the same. V1 becomes V4R. V2 becomes V5R. and V3 becomes V6R. V4 will become V7. V5 becomes V8. V6 becomes V9. Place the patient in a supine position and capture the ECG. Disconnect the equipment and remove the leads. Label the ECG as an 18 lead and ensure you change the lead placement on the paper. V1 becomes V4R. V2 becomes V5R. V3 becomes V6R. V4 becomes V7. V5 becomes V8. And V6 becomes V9. If patient was experiencing any chest pain during the ECG, document this on top of the tracing.